How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well Samsung has just released more display related features and controls for the Galaxy devices and this can be found under the new Good Guardians module called Display Assistant over that said in today's video we'll talk about all these new display settings and features and I'll also show you how to install this on your Samsung phone so stay tuned and watch this video until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. All right guys, first let me tell you about the Good Guardians application. This is very similar to Good Lock that I'm sure most of you might have already installed on your Samsung devices. But this one offers some useful modules for your phone's battery, thermals and memory management. Unlike Good Lock, this app is not available in some of the regions. But you can still sideload all these modules on your phone if you want to. Now what Samsung did is they have added a brand new module called Display Assistant which can be found under the Family tab and this basically gives you a lot more controls related to your phone's display and refresh rate. I'll just show you the features which you get inside the Display Assistant module. First we have got this option which says App Screen Timeout. Once you go inside, here you can choose a different screen timeout for each app individually. All you have to do is just tap on this plus icon and from here you can select any app you want to. For example, let me just select Google Chrome. Now if I tap on this add button, I can choose the same exact screen timeout specifically when I'm using Google Chrome on my phone. I can select as low as 15 seconds or go all the way up to 10 minutes as per the requirement. Not only this, we do have the option to enable or disable the auto dim feature specifically for that particular application. Next, we have the option called keep screen on. And this basically allows you to add an extra button to your quick settings by using which you can keep the screen on for 30 minutes. So whenever you are reading an article or browsing through different web pages online, you can just click on the screen on toggle to keep your phone screen on for a much longer time. Then we have got this brightness limit profile and by default it is set to standard which means that the brightness will be limited during high temperatures. Then there is something called as light mode that will keep the brightness at the higher level for a longer period of time but the device cools down slowly. So you can decide between these two different modes as per your need. Next we have this feature called adaptive brightness options and when you go inside, you get a slider to control the brightness change speed. It is set to 2x by default but you can go all the way up to 4x and the speed of the brightness change depends on the surrounding environment. So if you are using adaptive brightness on your Samsung phone, then you can further customize it by simply using this slider. Next we have something called the standard screen refresh rate option and this lets you choose applications that you want to run in the standard 60Hz. You just need to tap on the plus icon and from here you can select the applications that you want to run in 60Hz refresh rate. If you want to save some battery and you are comfortable using certain apps in 60Hz then you can make use of this feature. Finally, we have screen curtain mode and this basically helps you to save your phone's battery by putting the screen in sleep mode when using certain applications. You can also add a shortcut to your quick settings to activate this useful feature whenever you want to. So these are all the interesting features they have added inside the display assistant module and this might not be available in some regions. But still if you want to try this application and you have already installed the One UI 7 beta on your phone, then you can find a direct link in the description below. All you have to do is download the APK file from the description and install this brand new display assistant module on your Samsung phone. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.